Jesus the Savior, Mary the Mother, Mary Magdalene the girlfriend, who was she really? A disciple, his wife, what do we really know about her? The Bible doesn't tell us much. This is what Jesus says about her. She was his wife, his girlfriend, his teacher. She kept him sane when he was in doubt. She kept him from running when he couldn't take it anymore. She helped him follow his guidance to find his goal. She was all he wanted and more. She gave him all she had and more without regret, without holding back. She followed him up on the cross. She took his pain from the cross. With pain in her heart she let him die, only to come back again to her. The knowledge she has goes beyond our thoughts. What she did goes beyond our thoughts. She gave herself so he could be the Christ, the Savior. That is what she stands for. She gave herself for the benefit of all, the people who wanted a savior, who were waiting for him to die so they could be saved, never thinking about how they could give themselves to save another. She knew what she did, and she did it for all of us, so we could be free of pain, free of suffering, our souls redeemed before God, our souls cleansed before God with blood and pain. Why do we think only this can help us? Why don't we think only love, unconditional love, can help us? To redeem and cleanse our soul. To be one again with God. To be out there in the universe, knowing who we really are. Mary Magdalene has risen. And once and for all she is giving unconditional love to all that seek, to all that will answer, to all that are questioned. She is and will always be his wife, his girlfriend, his teacher, as he will always be her husband, her boyfriend, her teacher. Together they are one again with God, and together they will bring us into reality the reality of unconditional love.